to this particular video i have a very interesting problem but this is a hard level problem so we'll be solving this particular problem using the different functions which we have learned till today we'll be seeing how we can utilize these functions to solve such hard level of problem also be using a query optimization technique here which can solve a lot of different advanced level problem and make the query much more optimized to get our desired result let us see what is the problem it is saying so you can see this is a trips and users table so we are having two tables trips and users into the trips table i have the id client id driver id city id status request that id is the primary key for this particular table this table holds the information for all the taxi trips each trip has a unique id so for each of the row which is present into the trips table it contains and information for a trip so each row is a single trip a unique trip which you can see here a unique id is being provided there is a client id driver id which are foreign keys to the user id into the users table so client id and driver id these are the foreign keys to the user id to the user table the status is a enum type of completed cancelled by driver cancelled by client so this particular status column you can see this is a enum type so this particular column it just contain values out of all these three values so no other value will be contained out of all these three values so this is the enum type kind of column the request at is a date type which contains the information on to which date the request was accounted or taken place this was all about the trips table coming to the users table this is a very simple table it contains information of the user id whether the id is banned or not so banned is also a enum type of yes or no so either the id will be banned or the id would not be banned the role so either the id let's say id number one is a driver or a client or a partner so this is also a enum type so all these informations are present what do we need to calculate we need to calculate the cancellation rate and it is computed by dividing the number of cancelled requests with unbanned users by the total number of requests with the unbanned users on that day simply means that out of all those requests which were done by the unbanned users on a certain day how many requests were cancelled by the client and also by the drivers so we need to get both of these numbers and divide these numbers to get the cancellation rate somehow if we can get the information on the total number of requests which were made by the unbanned customers clients on a certain day and other information what we want we also want to get the number of the cancelled trips cancelled requests which either can be done by the driver or the client which were done and we just need to divide both of these numbers to get the cancellation rate we need to write a sql query to calculate the cancellation rate for each of the day between both of these states you can see this is the trips table we have the enum type data type completed cancelled by driver cancelled by client all those cancelled requests which we need to get and also the total number of trips which were done on that particular date we have this user table we have the user id either the id is banned or not and what is the role of that particular user either he is a client or he is a driver so we have all such information and into the output you can see i have the dates and the cancellation rate for example this particular date i have the cancellation rate 0.33 0.33 simply means like one of the example which i can provide here is let's say three number of requests which were done by the unbanned users onto this particular date and out of these three requests one of the request was cancelled by the driver so that is what we are getting 1 divided by 3 is equal to 0.33 so this is the cancellation rate similarly let's say for 2013 10.03 it is showing as 0.5 so it simply means that the total number of requests which were done on to 2013 10.03 were 2 and out of all those 2 requests 1 were cancelled so 1 divided by 2 is 0.5 we are getting this particular value
we need to do all these calculations using the sql query and we need to calculate the cancellation rate also you can see this clients id and the driver id so we are only concerned with the unbanned drivers and the unbanned client now we need to get the information on the unbanned client and the unbanned drivers also let us see how to do this so i will do a simple select first of all and i'll join the tables both of these tables so that i can get the information whether the client is banned or not or the driver is banned or not so to get this information we need to join both of these tables so onto which column do i need to join so first of all let us get the information for the client whether the client is banned or not and later on we'll be doing the for drivers so we'll be joining onto the basis of the client id onto the first table and the user id onto the second table so i'll write here a dot uh, client id comma a dot driver id a dot city a dot status a dot request at and from and from the second table we need to get b dot band this is the information for the client ban so i will just rename the column as client ban the role of this particular id so i would just write here b dot role and this i would name as client role from table trips a inner join table users on a dot client id because we are joining onto the basis of the client id this should be equal to the second table b dot users id let us run the code let us see what kind of output which we are generating here i just missed this inner join i'll just again run the code actually city id do we require city we don't require let us remove this we got an output so you can see we are getting the client information the client is banned or not so the client is not banned here the client is banned so we are getting all such information about the client why we are doing this because we are only concerned with the requests which were done by the unbanned clients and the unbanned drivers so we are only concerned with that so here we have done for the client let us again do for the drivers so this join was done for the getting the client data here i'll do again a join will be done to get the drivers data so the output which it is generated here i'll be using the same output so i will do a simple d dot star and i would do here c dot band now this information is for the drivers so this will be driver ban and similarly c dot role so this will be driver role from d i'll do a inner join users c on c dot users id is equal to d dot driver id so friends into the second join which we are doing we are getting the information for the driver whether the driver is banned or not so in that case we are joining onto the basis of the driver id and the user id we'll again run the code got the output and we are getting the information whether the driver is banned or not and the client is banned or not so somewhere we'll be getting yes somewhere we'll be getting no but we are only concerned with the unbanned drivers and the unbanned clients so we need to mention uh, information like the client and the driver they should not be banned c dot banned it should be no the driver should not be banned so this was for the drivers and similarly information which we need to provide for the client ban so d dot 
client ban this should also not be this should be no we'll again run the code and here now the information which we'll be getting will only for unbanned drivers and the unbanned clients so here you can see nowhere i'm getting for the yes for the band column so now we have got our desired result we'll be playing around with this result only because you can see into the cancellation rate we are only concerned with the unbanned users somehow we need to get just the data for the unbanned users requests unbanned drivers also so here we have filtered out the desired data now let us understand this problem what it is trying to say so for example you can see here i have this data into the date column i have let's say for 0 1 10 2013 I have three entries 2 10 2013 I'm having three entries and similar kind of data it is being generated right now from our query for for various dates we are getting the information whether the let's say the status of the trip whether it was completed or cancelled by the driver so we are getting all such information also one information which you can see here is each trip has a unique ID so each row which we are generating here into the output is defining a unique trip so each date information each row information gives the information of a single trip for example this is a trip this is another trip on 0110 this is another trip so can we say if we just count the number of times this particular date is coming into the date column that simply means that those number of trips were done onto that particular date for example 0 to 10 2013 it is coming three times as you can see into the date column so that simply means that three trips were done onto this particular date similarly 3 10 2013 it is coming two times so can we simply count the number of times this particular date is coming into the date column that simply means that those number of trips were done into that particular date i have this particular date column and i have this status column completed cancelled and all this and this is the result which we need to generate so for 01 10 2013 you can see there is just a single one cancel trip so i've just mentioned here one and the total number of times this particular date it is coming into this column is three so i mentioned the total number of trips is three because each row depicts a trip information a unique trips information as they have mentioned here each trip has a unique id and id is the primary key for this particular table similarly for 10 to 2013 zero number of cancelled trips are there and three completed trips are there 3 10 2013 one cancelled trip is there and two total number of trips is present here so the cancellation rate it is very much easy to calculate it is simply cancelled by number of total trips so we are getting the cancellation rate now friends up to this much it is very much clear how we need to proceed but how do we get the information of the total number of trips and the total number of cancelled trips how we can use this or how we can do this so for that i have presented the results separately or data separately for each of the dates so this is the date or uh, so this is the data for 0 1 10 2013 this is the data for 0 to 10 2013 and this is data for 0 3 10 2013 so whenever the status is cancelled can we say we can just get the value as 1 and whenever the status is completed we will be getting a value as 0 and this will be doing for each of the dates each of the trips each of the row which is present into my data or the result which we are getting right now so right now whatever result i am getting i have presented it here it would be similarly kind of this type only these are the two important columns which we need to take into account so that is why i have just taken into account these two columns as you can see into the output i just need to get the date column and the cancellation rate so that is why i have just presented these two columns here only so after i've got the cancelled so corresponding to cancelled i'll present one and corresponding to completed i'll present as zero so after this i've done i'll do a simple sum of all these values
so i'll be getting the total number of cancel trips onto those dates so you can see i'm getting a sum so total number of cancel trips onto all those dates i'm getting and corresponding i'll be getting a value of the total number of trips which were done onto those states so i'm getting all those values and at the last i'll be dividing both of these numbers to get my desired answer so one divided by three is the answer 0.33 so somehow we need to do this into our sql query let us see how to do this so we are only concerned with the date column so i would provide this into a bracket here and i would write here select quest at and this column is day as you can see here and here i'll see using the case and statement can we write the for cancelled whenever cancelled is coming take the account as one and whenever completed is coming take the count as zero so we'll be writing a logic for that so case when status is equal to come Completed, so I'll need to write it exactly how it is mentioned here. So then zero else for every other enum type, as you can see here, the unique enum types are mentioned here. Completed, cancelled by driver, cancelled by clients. So either the trip is cancelled by driver or the client, we need to take that into account. So else for every other thing, take that as one. So by this, we can get the zero and one value which we have done here now after i have got these value i need to sum it up so i need to provide this also so i would tell our code to sum up this particular data which i'll be generating but the sum which i'll be getting it will be for each date so we need to group our data set onto the basis of the request at date so that is what we need to provide at the last like group by onto the basis of the date because for each date we'll be getting a unique row you can see for each date i'm getting a row and the cancellation rate row and a date and the cancellation rate i'm getting so we need to group by onto the basis of the request stat to get the sum of the total cancel trips now friends using this we'll be getting the total number of cancel trips you can see we have got the total number of cancelled trips information using the sum function so till this step it is very much clear now we have got the total number of cancelled trips now somehow if we can just get the total number of trips very much simple for us to simply divide both of these numbers so to get the total number of trips or the total number of times those that particular date is occurring into my column i'll just do a simple count of star to count the total number of rows into the aggregate and this would display the total number of times that particular date is coming this particular concept which you can see this is useful in optimizing our query so you can just think of like we are saving a lot of many steps just this using the case when statement use inside the sum function it can solve a lot of different advanced level problems friends to get the answer into the decimal places i need to multiply this by 1.0 and i to mention here from also i need to change the column name so i would provide here cancellation rate as they have mentioned right now also one more additional thing which they have mentioned here is we need to round off our answer to two decimal places so let's say i've got the sum or the decimal number for the total number of cancellation rate so at the last we need to round off our answer to two decimal places and that's all is required let us run the code let us see what is the output which we are generating here we need to provide a alias name here so let us provide anything also we need to do h dot status and h dot request at this format a bit here 
that's all let us run the code friends you can see we have got the correct answer so friends i hope you had found this video quite informational and very much useful though this was a very hard level problem and we have used a certain advanced level concepts and i hope the example which i have provided into the excel sheet that was quite useful to understand the solution so do rewatch this video again if you had any issues or you wanted to understand any concept why i did this why i did that particular certain step that can be very much useful to you and this was certain query optimization technique which you can see here using case one statement inside the sum function or the count function so depending on to the problem which you are solving we can use certain or query optimization techniques and these are certain good practices to have so friends do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye